Gary Francona with the youngest team in baseball. He has a way of getting the most out of his players, and it's unbelievable. It might be his best job ever. His young group has energized Terry Francona. There's no secret sauce. There's no driving cool. It's Tito. He's messing around. He's like a little kid, and that's why you love playing for him. The Guardians, American League Central Division champs. It's not easy. When it's hard, these guys should be so proud. This is organic. This is, hey, this is what happiness is. Our next installment, MLB Network presents documents the life and career of the one and only Terry Francona. That's right, Tito is the best. Everyone in the game knows what a firecracker he is, how entertaining he is, and what a winner he is. Let's take a quick peek. Tito, by the way, premiering Sunday at 8 o'clock Eastern. Here's a sneak peek. Tito, it sounds like a little bit of a rough night with the TV remote. Yeah. It was, I, all right. I'll, it's not like I haven't embarrassed myself before. I would describe it this way. He is incredibly high functioning within the major league dugout and the major league environment. The other areas of his life, maybe not so much. I was having a nightmare that somebody was breaking my ribs. I mean, I woke up and I, I mean, my ribs hurt. Like, I kind of got scared. I felt it, right? The remote was like stuck in my rib cage. <laughs> Evidently, I just slept on it for a couple hours. We kind of joke with him. It's like, you don't know how to function outside of a major league clubhouse. Like, you're not, you're not a functional member of society. Yeah, I had peanut butter on my glasses, too. <laughs> <laughs> I was dipping uh, pretzels into the jar of peanut butter, and I fell asleep at some point while eating. <laughs> A lot of the coaches will be like, hey, we, we just got to get him to the ballpark. You know, like, I'm not allowed to drive anymore. Like, I don't even take the keys anymore. Just give them to Sonny, because I, I get lost. He can't manage putting a, uh, you know, something in a microwave. Uh, he'll mess up the microwave. He can't pull out ice cream out of the refrigerator without making a mess. No, man, I just have potato chips. <laughs> no, he can't manage anything other than a baseball team. Can't wait for Tito this Sunday. You must have a Tito story. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I, you know, got to know him a little bit just from playing against him and, and saying hello here and there. He's a fantastic guy. I mean, all, everything about him is is is, uh, is awesome. There was one time in, in Detroit that we were playing in Cleveland, and he'd always mess with guys, too, on the opposing team. And I'm on deck, and there, it's a big situation in the game. He's got a lefty warmer in the dugout, and he's trying to get my attention. He's on the top step. And he's kind of looking at me. He goes, and he's, like, signaling, hey, I got the lefty. <laughs> Getting ready for it. Sure enough, like after when I was coming up to bat, he starts walking out. He's looking at me. He gives a signal for the lefty. So he's always, you know, kind of messing with guys. Tremendous baseball person yeah. and a guy that just always, you know, kind of brightens up the room. And a guy like you, multi generational baseball player. Yeah. So it's it's yeah. baseball life. It's in the blood. It's yeah. in the bones. I love that gamesmanship. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. <laughs>